Well, these peacocks really love this carpet. It's nice and soft, and especially the mother. She came up and she was lying down on it and little karaoke under her wing. And they were just taking a nap. And now pokies here as well. They really love the upstairs area. I think they're going to be sleeping up here pretty soon. And probably on one of these carpets. And they love it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't they don't even want to go outside anymore. They want to live inside the house now. We had it wrong all these years. These birds want to live inside the house. <laughs> Can you believe it? And they're beautiful as well. Just look at that. Okay, so I just loaded these two street lamps in here. <laughs> Nobody believed that it will fit in here, but I know in this car I can load anything. I can load anything, but I don't think I'll be able to load that car into this one, but I'll try. Yeah, it is one of those cars where you can fit anything in. <laughs> it just works. Yeah, I just fed them, they ate, and now they're just taking a quick walk. <laughs> they haven't really been to many places in their lives. But at least they get to spend a little time out of the chinchilla cage now. But yeah, I'm planning to take them out into the sun for the first time. They do get some sunlight through the windows and stuff. But I'm very careful with them. And... I don't want them to be exposed too quickly to all kinds of situations. I want to get them as strong as possible, as quick as possible. <laughs> they are so beautiful. I just look at her, she's got to take him back. No, 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 no. You have to be careful also if you ever get kittens. When they are being born, you have to assist. The reason for that is the mother sometimes can clip off a little leg or a tail. It happens. And people don't really think that it's possible, but she has to chew through that umbilical cord. And when she does that, she doesn't really know exactly. Especially if they're a first time mother. And it happens. So... I always say assist, be around, check what is going on, and then they'll be fine. They tend to have kittens when you're not there, <laughs> but if you are, just assist a little bit. And I always break that little bag open, and then get the kitten out, wipe its nose as clean as possible, and hold the little nose up to the mother so she can clean them properly and then they'll be fine but yeah <laughs> these little ones are just perfect <laughs> but they have to go back now i'm gonna take it back no zach come on come on come on come on whenever i start talking then zach and sachis thinks that they can do whatever they want because then i am busy yeah roll over <laughs> okay i'm gonna take them back to little mama because she is not used to them being out of the cage. Look at this little one's leg shaking over here. Okay, now let me take them back. Well, these two are in my office. They just quickly came to check out the kittens, I guess. There they are. <laughs> Drinking on mom. <laughs> here they are. But they just walked up and came to check him out. There's Fabrizio as well. <laughs> so many pets in such a small little area. And there they go down again. <laughs> Well, Pokey is still here. He didn't go up with him because he's difficult to get him down. If he decides to stay there, he stays. 
<laughs> I'm still busy here. Yeah, just put these branches or manifolds back. Just tightening it up quickly. I'm using the old gaskets because that's a solid type gasket. The other ones I have seen, if a piece of it blows out, your turbo system will be leaking. And I don't want that, so I'm going to just make sure that it is as strong as possible. Alright, let me just tighten this one as well. And it's almost there. It's taking time. I don't work a lot on it. Just an hour or two a day. Because it really gets you at the back. Your back is constantly well bent and then <laughs> you get tired quickly but parts are getting less and it is coming along this is the type of gasket that I'm rather putting back it's solid it's a plate type and then these are the ones I got with I'll just keep them I mean I've got three of these or three cars with these engines so I'll use it they're just so reliable you never use it <laughs> yeah let me get this thing done can't wait to drive it again well these little ones are just eating some well they love the cat pellets and Tracy likes it as well Enzo's just drinking some water over there but yeah, they're finally getting used to the peacocks. The peacocks walk past them. Diego just gave them a look and that was it. They are getting used to them. <laughs> She's going to chase him away or her away. Come on, Tracy, you can't eat all the cat food. Didn't you know cat food is for birds? Pokey right over here. Just look at him. He is absolutely beautiful. And Mother Cat can't believe her eyes. The biggest bird she's seen in the house. Okay, so I'm working on the house. Fabrizio is over there. Mother Cat over there. Oh, you guys just missed the peacocks. There they go outside. There goes Pokey. I think the other ones are past already. But I'm working. I've got some lamps. Just look at those lamps. Got two of them yesterday. I just put it back there so it doesn't fall over because I haven't mounted them yet. But I want to put them in here somewhere. It's going to look nice. I'm busy here with the ceiling as well. Yeah, the cats jump down from the roof, I guess, onto the ceiling, and they broke the screws out that holds it there. So, and I've got a lot of cabling in this house. There's a lot of, these are, this one that's hanging over here is the new internet fiber cable. <laughs> but yeah, we've got so many cables in this house. They don't call it a complicated house for nothing. But yeah, I'm just, Working on it, getting everything done <laughs> with a lot of pets around. <laughs> they don't leave me alone for a second. <laughs> uh, and those peacocks are amazing. Every time I go upstairs, they are there and I have to let them go come down first. It's so funny. <laughs> it's gonna catch a fly. I think you got him. Okay, so I have gotten quite a few things done tonight. And I am tired now. I am going to give it a rest. But yeah, the head gaskets are fitted. Manifold is back on. Everything is in position. I still have to just swap a few pipes and wires and things around so they it easier but it is gonna be like before so I'm done for the night I will be back and working on this pretty soon not tomorrow because tomorrow morning I have to go and fetch chickens for the tigers again and 
yeah I have to do that first but probably later tomorrow I'll work a couple of hours on it and get this thing going again can't wait to use it again so dusty but gonna be absolutely great well little Chloe slept in the cage last night she didn't want to go out we only took her out this morning and I had to give her an insulin oh, shot now yeah, I want to make a video to give you all the information about diabetes with monkeys and you can hear Zach and Sachis there in the background howling because I left them for a few seconds and uh, yeah I've got some information about the monkeys that I think is good to know because it's easy if you can diagnose just by sight if your monkey has got a problem with diabetes and I'm going to give you all the information about that in a, I want to make a quick three minute video about that There's his mom The sound he makes when he doesn't Well, when he's within Further than a meter away from his mom <laughs> well I'm taking the kittens out for the first time to just roam around a little and the mother is right here Fabrizio as well and Oreo Diego <laughs> yeah yeah they are oh come on Zach and Sachis when they start hearing me talking whenever I start to vlog well they are they just show up and they want to come and Take advantage of the situation, because they know I'm occupied. <laughs> As I can sachis. But yeah, the little kittens are absolutely beautiful. They're walking around. I want to take them outside, but I haven't made the decision yet when to do it. I want to get them as strong as possible. But yeah, they are absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I'm still keeping them in this chinchilla cage, but I have to be careful that they don't develop, well, feelings that they don't like it. Because I think that's what happened to the Diegos, but I had to keep them in there to keep them safe. So, yeah, the only Diegos that I still see around is, well, Oreo Diego. But Katya is here. She is hanging out by the Porsche actually. Whenever I go there, Zach, she's right there. And then Houdini. I haven't seen him in a while, but he is outside. I see him on the cameras, but I haven't had any interaction with him in a while. He is a little shy these days. But yeah, let me get the dogs out of here, because now it's going too far. Come on, Tracy, leave them alone. Yeah, so they didn't like the chinchilla cage. The other day, Dini was still here, and I put him in this chinchilla cage to keep him safe, because some of the other cats wanted to fight with him, and he didn't like it. He ate, and then he wanted to go, so I let him go. But... I see them around and <laughs> well they do go they're, they're, they're doing good but yeah I keep an eye on them constantly Zach come on let them take a walk around Fabrizio is gonna slap you around <laughs> yeah let me put them back I'll take them out again in an hour <laughs> okay so i'm gonna chase pokey down because he was spending the whole day on the bed in front of the mirror looking at himself he loves it come on pokey let's go let's go you're even losing feathers here come on let's go <laughs> come on let's go there's Fabrizio, go past him. No, come on, Popoki, you're not going to sleep here tonight. 
<laughs> He's absolutely amazing. Come on, Pokey. Now let's go. I'm going to let you go down. No, now he wants to stay. <laughs> he wants to stay here. Come on, Pokey. Yeah, this is the bathroom. No, come on out there. Come, let's go. <laughs> he wants to be in the house. Come on, Pokey, let's go. Go, 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 go. Go. Now you're going that side. No. No, you can't sleep there, Pokey. He wants to sleep here. <laughs> Come on, Pokey. Oh, no. You just crapped on the bed. No, that was it. Let's get out of here. That way, that way, that way, that way, that way. No! You're not going out. Come on, let's go downstairs. Let's go down. Go. Go. Just move the phone. Come on, Pokey. There you go. Go. <laughs> Whoa. Jeez, Pokey. What are you doing? Oh, now he's awake. Still busy working here. Did a lot today. All the skylights are repaired. Newly. How can I put it? Overall. She is waiting right here with the little one for Pokey. Yeah, this is where they sleep. But yeah, all the skylights are done. And I'm almost done, yeah, but there's still a lot of work. I'll get it done pretty soon. Those skylights as well, 14 of them were overall today. This is the inner parts that came out. Yeah, Pokey, let's go. <laughs> well, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like always, have a good day. There's not a vibration on this motor. It is running smooth. I'm just going to figure out bleeding the whole system first. I can trace it, what the temperature is. It runs at about 83 degrees Celsius. So it's not bad. And seems like it's going to be perfect this time. Well, they have done the skylights. I have to say, I'm impressed with these guys. They know how to work. They get it right the first time. It's very seldom these days that I get someone to do a job and they get it right the first time. They are professional, they know what they're doing and I'm very grateful that there is still people that can do work like that. But yeah, boys have eaten or ate. <laughs> the house is coming along fine and another day is gone thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it and like always have a great day come diego come say goodbye what they never did your skylight in your little room up there don't worry we'll get them next time <laughs>